Hey, what's going on guys? Tonight's video, we're gonna be discussing a leaky toilet and the water is running constantly. Now I have the water shut off right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back on to show you guys what's happening. And most of the time, you know, people just tell you, oh, jiggle the handle, jiggle the handle. Well, jiggle the handle means, you know, you jiggle the handle and what's inside just needs to press down and kind of seal up so the water then fills up. Well, in my case, it's a chain problem and we're gonna get to that in just a second here. But so after you flush the toilet, you know, a good two minutes go by and you still hear the water running. You're like, what's going on? And majority of the time, you know, people will say, jiggle the handle, that will fix it. And majority of the time, jiggling the handle will work, but I'm gonna show you a more secure fix for it here. So let me turn on the water here. And again, that's just located over here to the left. And we're gonna quarter turn that back on. Okay. And now let's remove the cover here. So again, this is my problem here. The water runs, 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 and runs, and runs without filling up the tank. And so what's happening is my chain right here has gotten all messed up here. Now you see it's preventing this from sealing down and able to fill up the water right here. So again, stop jiggling your handle and address the chain situation here and this will fix it. So number one, my chain is all wrapped up on this little hook down here and it's actually shortening the chain so the chain doesn't have its proper length to be able to flatten down on that and seal that up. So let's go ahead and address that chain. Okay, we turned the water off there so it's a little less annoying while we talk to the camera here. And so again, the first thing is you're gonna have a different length of chain here. Again, your might, yours might look a little bit differently here. But again, the chain is all wrapped around this like little S hook type of a thing here. So number one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the chain from the S hook, okay? And that would fix it right there. Now see how long my chain is? But again, that's gonna happen again. And if I'm not home, if the kids or whatnot are messing around with it, that's gonna cause a little bit of problem. That's gonna waste a lot of water, guys. So what we need to do here is to secure this in. Number one, we need to clamp this opening right here in the S hook. We need to clamp that securely tightened so the chain can't get inside that little crevice right there where my finger is of the S hook. So we're gonna take some pliers, we're gonna cramp that down there so the chain cannot get hooked in that little uh, area there again and shorten itself. And we'll, what we'll probably also do is we might even take some clippers and cut the rest of this off so this doesn't get uh, in there as well. Okay guys, excuse my camera work. I'm trying to do this with one hand here. So again, we're gonna close up that gap right there. We just have some regular pliers here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come around and we're gonna go ahead and just push that in. I have to sit down the camera while I do this, but we're gonna just grab each end, we're gonna pop it in like that, and we'll close that gap. All right guys, that's it. We've closed the gap there. Now the chain shouldn't be able to hook in there. And if it starts to hook in there again, I'm gonna actually go to the store and buy a better connector. Maybe something more along the lines of a little hook device like this. And so that doesn't mess up. It doesn't mess up that often, but I haven't addressed that situation in a while. So that was bugging me. And since the water's already drained and it wasn't sealing, it gives me a good opportunity to reach in there and fix that without getting my hands completely soaked or my tools soaked. So now you have the option of taking some clippers and cutting the rest of this, but you want to make sure that you don't affect the length of it because now it is sealing on perfectly there, guys. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the water and it's going to fill back up because, again, this is completely sealed now down on this right here. So that is another issue, guys. If the chain is not your issue, then you might have to address a different seal right here that is sealing down on this. So if this does not seal down perfectly, the water is gonna leak through and it's not gonna fill up your tank. So again, if it's not a chain issue, it's gonna be the sealing issue down here on this rubber gasket, kind of a washer situation right here, guys. So I hope the video has helped you. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that water on. We'll get a shot of it. Excellent, guys. It's all filled up there completely and again, the systems, even though this is a larger tank, this is an older type of uh, toilet, so this tank is going to be a lot bigger than yours. But this whole entire tank right here filled up in about a minute. Yours should only be about 45 seconds, maybe 40 seconds. Look in that description box below for some of these parts, some extra chains, links, and even the 
rubber sealing uh, washer kind of gasket right there as well. Anyway, I hope the uh, video has helped you guys. You guys have a wonderful night. Take care.